Okay, derive the formula cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. This is one of our compound angle formulas. And to prove this one, we start off with a unit circle, like so. Um, we put in an angle a, like this, and it'll, this will give us uh, coordinates up here of a point P, uh, which the coordinates will be cos A sine A. And then we also put in an angle B over here. Let's call this angle B. And this will give us the coordinates here of a point Q, which is uh, cos B sine B. And what we do then is we can join the points uh, P to the point Q. And what we're going to do is find the distance uh, P to Q. And we're going to find that using the cosine rule because we have a triangle here. We have um, a distance of one, a distance of one. And in here, we have an angle, which is A minus B. So I can actually write or draw this triangle here like this. The angle here is A minus B. This is one and this is one. So using the cosine rule, uh, if this is P and this is Q, I have PQ squared is equal to one squared plus one squared minus two times one times one times the cosine of the angle a minus b. I can work through this uh, just to tidy it up a little bit. So the length pq squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared. That's just 2 uh, minus 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. So it's 2 minus 2 cos of a minus b. And I'll just note that as equation 1. Now I can also find the distance P to Q using the distance formula. So the length PQ using the distance formula in here will be the square root of cos A minus cos B squared plus sine A minus sine b squared. Okay, so I can square both sides. On the left-hand side, I'll get pq squared. That's important because that's the same as down here. Um, on the right-hand side, then, I square in the right-hand side. We'll get rid of the square root sign. And then I'm also, at the same time, going to square out these brackets. So squaring out cos a cos b and squaring out sine a sine b. So stick with me here. What you get is uh, the square root of first, which is cos squared a. You get twice the product, so it's going to be minus 2 cos a cos b. And the square of the second, so that would be plus cos squared b. Then over here, we're going to get the same thing. So square root of first, that's plus sine squared a. Twice the product, so minus 2 sine a sine b. And then the square root last, so plus sine squared b. And that's what we get on the right-hand side. Now, I can tidy up things here. Um, I'm going to write them in a different order. So PQ squared, I'm going to put cos squared A and sine squared A together. So cos squared A plus sine squared A. Some people might know why I'm doing that already. Then I have cos squared B and sine squared B plus cos squared B plus, uh, sorry, B plus sine squared B. And then I'll just put the rest. So I have minus 2 uh, cos A cos B. Uh, 
and I have minus 2 sine A sine B. And if you remember from formula 1, we have cos A, cos squared A plus sine squared A, and we also have cos squared B plus sine squared e, B. That's 1, and that's 1. So this makes it a lot easier. I have the length PQ squared is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 2 cos A cos B, minus 2 sine A sine B. And one more step here, uh, PQ squared is equal to 2 minus 2 times, I'm just going to factor out that 2 there. Um, to get cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. And that's going to be my equation 2. So now I'm going to let equation 1 equal to equation 2 because PQ squared is equal to PQ squared. So I can say that 2 minus 2 cos A minus B is equal to 2 minus 2 times cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. You can do a little bit of algebra here. I can take away 2 from both sides. I can then divide both sides by minus 2. So they're gone as well. So I'm left with now cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sine A sine B, which is the formula that I was asked to derive.